just as seriously as I know that God created everything, I know that Christ will take my life and use me as He wishes and will take care of me. All too often we get caught up in the physical foes. I don't know how many of you might have happened to see an art or something that was on Friday or Saturday night. So on Channel 13, it was about Lee Carpenter. Lee played football for you know, that other school down in state and was part of the kick fun family punt team. Well, shortly after that, Lee found out he had Lee Garrett's disease. Lou Garrett's disease. Lee is still alive and actually teaching a college course. 26 years of that later. Five all odds and all concepts. Why? Because his faith. Because he has let God use him, God's kept him around. Leaders in Chillsburg. I had the pleasure and honor to marry his son, a member of our church down there. Lee is an outstanding example of somebody who gave his life over to God. And I'm sure there are people that look at Lee and say, how could God do this to somebody like that really trusts him? God's ways are not something we understand all times, folks. But you tell me a better example of what God can do with somebody than that. This man must have been dead 20 years ago. That by all rights should be laying there doing nothing. He studies rights, he teaches, and he's a living example of what it is to trust Christ with your life. No matter what happens, he can still use us if we don't let him. Our big thing, folks, is just let it go. I know back when I was in college and taking a psychology course, it's one of those trust issue type things, and we see it today on one of the commercials where this guy tells the get he's going to fall backwards and they catch him. Of course, that's an absurdity, but that's one of the things we did. Close your eyes and just fall backwards, trusting others to catch you. Anybody ever done that? Yeah. It's, it's not easy at first, is it? You start back and there's still always that tentative, how's somebody really going to catch me? All too often we do that with God. When it comes to our life, we start to lean back and we hesitate. There's always that little bit of worry in there. Can I really trust God? But folks, if you can't, you better learn to. Because it's only in trusting Him completely that you become a complete disciple and allow Him to use your life as He wants instead of keeping trying to be a puppet of yourself and control of what happens. God has the ability to do anything. He created the entire universe with a single thought. Don't you think He can take care of your life? Christ died to give us the opportunity to become the children of God. He died as an example to us of what we need to do. He paid a price that we can't possibly pay. If we can't trust somebody that did that for us, who are we going to trust? Folks, God loves you. He wants to take care of you. But He can only do it if you let Him. Not going to force you. The road's not an easy one. Oftentimes I've heard people ask, what, you know, what happened since you've become a Christian? What happened since you've gone to the ministry? What this? 
And they say, gosh, doesn't sound like God doing you real well. Yeah, God does whatever. I'm not saying that Satan can't keep going after you. Look at the story of Job. If you want an example. But look what happens when you stay faithful. God takes care of you. He's always there through it. He's always there to care of you. Just trust Him. As we sing this last hymn, if you haven't totally turned your life over to God, folks, that's what this altar up here is for. To give your life to God or to rededicate your life to God. To join the church or simply just to be close. It's there to fulfill your needs. There's nothing wrong. Oftentimes people think, well, if I go for somebody, don't think I've been doing something bad. Well, I hope not. I hope what we think is praise God. There's somebody else that God's moving in their life. Your number 34. Go and let others see the love of Christ in you.